If that guy can't get him up, we're driving straight to the junkyard. I'm done. I'm done with this. One thing that I am super grateful for that I purchased, knee pads. Let's see how these feel. Oh, heaven, it's like sitting on clouds. So I just forgot one of these. This is what the seat belts went through. And they were a bit of a pain in the butt. Damn! First injury of the day. One of many, I'm sure. There we go. Next thing I'm going to try to do is figure out how to get this back door open. I think it'll make it a lot easier. We're going to fix the door handles today. Or attempt to, I should say. All these things are attempting. And... We're not professionals, so nothing's going to be perfect. We're just hoping for good enough. One thing that is very common in these things is that the door handles break. And it's usually the cables that have broke like these. They got these plastic tips on them. And usually that's what breaks. So I watched a quick video and seen which wire to pull came out and was able to get it open. But then we shut the door and now the cable thing don't work. And here, it's just like it... And there's supposed to be like a second cable and I just don't even fill it. I, I think the whole second cable is just broke off completely. I'm really not even seeing a second cable at all. I feel like I see the cable down here, but, and it looks like it's just completely broke. I can pull it. Oh, great. My watch is stuck. I can pull it, but it just will not. It just will not budge. It's completely. I think what I might be able to pop off next is this wheel well cover. It looks like I should be able to get that off. Looking like and doing two different things, let me tell you. So let's see if we can't work on getting this off. It's like that on the other side too. I'm not going to panic. We knew that the rest would be bad. We knew that. We knew that going into it. So, but I just, oh my gosh. We definitely may have to reevaluate some things. And once we get this liner off, it's going to be pretty scary, but... It's okay, I'm gonna stay positive about it because I'm pretty sure that the middle and the front is still good. Um, there's a spot in the back by this door that when I had the door open, it was bad. And around this other well well is bad. So I think that's where the, ma the majority of my work is gonna be. But I foresee a trip to Lowe's in our future Home Depot or an auto body store, something like that, because it's pretty bad. Where's Mark? Hey. We are headed to uh, go to the car wash and get the back of this cleaned out. Why we got the time, because there's so much grime back there, it's driving me crazy, and it's all around the bolts that we're gonna need to cut off. Got me some donuts, I feel a little bit better. We got the van vacuumed out and still no packages so we're just kind of waiting now i'm so ready to get started but one thing i have to do is get the anglers all put together i think that's what they're called angle 
I can't remember. Anyways, I have to get the angler, we'll call it, put together. Um, I don't know nothing about it, so I'm gonna have to read the directions and all that good jazz. So, we get that read and try to figure out how to get that put together. So, as soon as she gets here with our packages, we can get started. Okay, so this is crazy. So Mark got the um, angler put together and we got the, uh, the metal cutting tool on it, the blade on it. And then he comes out here and he was like, you know what, just let me try one more time because we went and vacuumed all these out. And look, he's getting them up. Now this is just the second one and it's already coming up. So, oh my gosh, that's so cool. We got little man back there helping. Right up. Lucky. Vacuuming all that stuff out so I could get the torque wrench down in it. Yeah. Made a world of difference. I think that definitely helped. Yep. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> You're on candy camera, kid. You want those knee things? Turn, turn, turn. Turn, turn, turn. Yeah, it's blue. Start. I have to be honest with you guys. I'm so discouraged. We cannot get these things out. I just had to go stay on and breathe. And we'll figure this out. We always do. Um, but I have a small victory. I had to come out and do something. I just could not feel totally defeated. So I got the transition strip, the one that the mat from here to there, so I got it out. They were so rusted in. I had to use a hammer and a flathead screwdriver and kind of go up underneath, uh, go up underneath of it, and then take the hammer and like hammer it underneath there. And then when I got it about up to the thicker part, I was able to just like lift up and pop them out. It was not easy, but I did it. So I got a majority of the liner out, and it's bad, guys. <laughs> it's, it's real bad. Yeah, it's real bad. <laughs> uh, I'm going to flip the camera around and show you guys. So yeah, uh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting, I knew around the wheel wells there was a lot of rust. I wasn't expecting as much rust here up front. Um, too close because Mark has the only pair of safety glasses. We're going to give it the old college try. We'll see what happens. <laughs> the old college try. Here it goes.
Vabbè. Muovi così. Muovi così. Muovi così. Ok. Now to figure out what plan F is, I don't know. Breaking news. square out be careful if you cut over here because that's for your air conditioning lines your heater for your back fan all that stuff is right there you go a little bit too deep up she'll slice one and then you got water leaks all kind of stuff if you're gonna do this and you try to buy a cargo van like a plumber's van or electrician's van that's just open in the back then you won't have these problems this is a 15 passenger van full of seats and put the track I have, have, <laughs> have to have two more brackets cut out. I got all the rest of them. But you got all of them out, but two. There's the big ones in the back and the star book there. there. Right there and right there. All the rest are out. But so I guess that they loosened them up yesterday for you. Yeah, we took a tour. Everything got, them ones got looser. They're yeah. still bare, but we got them out. Them back ones is just too rusty, I guess. I can't budge them. They're just in there too tight. I was able to get one bolt out of that one bracket. Yeah. That big one, that was it. So we've we've tried. They tried cutting, I tried cutting out the hole one, like the guy said with the floor. All I did was make a new hole in the floor. Uh, stop by tomorrow too and get an appointment so we can get the door handles replaced. We just can't get back in there. No. I, I don't even know. I can't see back in there. And if I can't see something, I can't see. <laughs> If that guy can't get him out, we're driving straight to the junkyard. I'm done. I'm done. And there's that. already so much rust repair. It's just, I think we're overwhelmed. Yeah. Like, like we knew it was going to be work, but not this much work. So, and I thought we were already going to be so much farther than what we are now. But we've been working hard and we're trying and that's the best we can do. We've done yeah. the best we can. I'm ready for a shower. I feel great, even though I didn't do that much today. Mark did most of the work. I kind of cleaned and organized the garage a little bit and put some things up and got our packages organized because I was starting to lose track of stuff. We're also probably, so probably next weekend. Once the brackets come out, we'll sweep it out again. We'll, then we'll cut the rust out the floor. So another weekend down. And yeah, we're still on the first thing on our list. Brackets are coming out tomorrow. <laughs> Two weeks. If that guy can't cut out two brackets, <laughs> I'll just take the torch away from him and do it myself. It's not that hard. We're two weeks. Don't even say that. It's not that hard. Oh, I can run a torch. I can torch this van. Throw his tree this right now. I can torch the whole. <laughs> so, welcome to the Hot Mess Express. <laughs> two more brackets. Four's done. All right. All the brackets are out anyway. All right. Well, we'll see you guys later. And we hope you guys have a great week. See you later.